This alleged ghost was caught on video rummaging around a property of an arcade in Dallas. The phantom blob glides over the grass and quickly fits through an entranceway. It's pretty convincing to me. Here's a second video of it. This looks like a cheaper camera, but it picks up the same shape. The only possible explanation I have besides the paranormal is maybe an insect is crawling across the lens. A YouTuber named R. Travis is exploring a haunted restaurant that used to serve Chinese food. The inside is extremely old and the walls have rotted down to bare support beams. He feels watched and grows increasingly anxious and begins to talk loud and fast to himself in an effort to keep calm. Sometime during his nervous ranting, he makes a comment out loud about a spirit he sees standing at the top of the stairs. I don't give two flat oh, it's a set of stairs here, let's roll. They might not be stable. I've just seen a figure up there, but I'm not honest, I'm going chasing him. Nothing really stands on camera. Could this purple triangular shape be whatever it was he was talking about? At first, he says he's going to leave it alone, but up the steps he finds nothing but an old musty attic with a worn out floor, but there's more than that up here. I just seen another figure then. Three black spirits have seen them past me now. Aside from this white light that passes by at 3 minutes and 10 seconds, I do see some shadow figures. And a final shadow figure with white eyes can be seen here at 3 minutes and 22 seconds. They're all about the same height scattered around different parts of the room, and with all of them still watching, R. Travis abruptly ends the video. What are these bright lights in the sky? The lights start to appear one by one. On a deux autres encore de nouvelles. Qu'est-ce que ça va faire? On sait pas, ils sont plus proches là. C'est beaucoup beaucoup plus à gauche. Troisième. Trois, une trois. Tiens, regarde, c'est pas moi qui les invente. Quatre. Ça va faire bien, c'est autre là. There's no information attached to this video about where it was filmed, but the clip continues for a minute and a half without the lights changing much in position. They do start to shift a little toward the end, though. Uh, I can't say that I can't move them up more than that. But I know that it's approaching because the lights are more... We don't see it on the video, but the lights are more... It's not moving, you know? Are these lights on singular aircrafts, or are they arranged on one larger aircraft? They appear to me to be individual aircrafts flying in formation, or rather hovering. But apart from unidentified flying objects, I have no clue what they might be. Do you? Sean learned about summoning Bloody Mary from a friend. He thought about it for a couple days and then decided to try it for himself to see what happens. First, he tries to summon her with the lights on and he isn't surprised when that method doesn't work. Next, he tries it with the lights off, which is something that he is a little hesitant to do and with good reason too. He says her name three more times and this is what he sees. Oh God. The hunched over figure behind him gives him a startle and Sean turns out the lights just to make the terrifying scene go away. When he turns the lights back on, she has vanished. Just like in other videos, the doorknob gets jammed as he tries to leave and then it suddenly releases. He retreats into the main area of his house and the video ends. I will say that this video could very well be fake. Maybe Bloody Mary is really just his sister or someone else he knows. His reaction seems a little off too, kind of like it could have been staged. But then again, he might have been really frightened and just trying to keep his cool for the camera. It's hard to tell for certain. A phantom drifts past, never to be seen or heard from again. Published by Tammy Jackson in December of 2019, this ring camera footage captured something incredibly eerie in this person's yard. The footage shows a pale, full-bodied figure drifting across the yard. No features are discernible. It then appears to vanish. That's when the motion-activated lights on the garage are triggered. They shine brightly, casting light all across the yard, but there's nothing there. A house light also appears to be triggered, but still nothing else appears in the yard. Do ghosts trigger motion sensors? If not a ghost, who is this? I guess we'll never know for sure.
Have you checked your home security cameras? You'll want to after seeing this video. Published to the Chills Narrator subreddit by SirPenguin09, the Redditor explains that everyone was at the hospital visiting his cousin on June 22nd. No one was home, but when they checked their security footage, this is what they found. The clip shows a blur of something walking past. While the visual isn't clear, it's definitely a human figure. Sir Penguin goes on to say all doors were locked, all windows were safeguarded, and that no other security cameras around the house caught any movement. So if this is a person, how did he get in? And if not, how will this Redditor get him out? Many in the comments are just as perplexed as Sir Penguin, but redditor 2 low 40 sums it up best, writing, Ghosts or home invader? The thought of whatever this is walking through your home is absolutely terrifying. The SEMGHS ghost hunters record some interesting evidence of the paranormal during their investigation of a house in Waterford, Michigan. Nobody is anywhere near the doorway when this motion detector goes off. So tell me how this can happen. This is some my shadow. shadow. Oh, it must went off. Then when he says hello, the motion detector fades away as orbs fall. Hello. Okay, what you are seeing right there lit up, that's the motion detector. And, it just and as they are talking about what happened, a third voice chimes in with this creepy whisper. Yeah. Plus the, uh, it was the standard of the, uh. This abandoned prison castle was built in 1865 and was used to house all types of scary people. It was a transitory prison before sending prisoners to hard labor or exile. Now it apparently houses actual ghosts. Published by Toppy in November of 2021, these paranormal investigators went to visit the dark and mysterious place. Here is what they found. Outside, they walk around the wall where lives were ended. Then they head inside. The investigator notes that they say they've heard some coughing. Inside the cells, they listen but hear nothing. They come across strange windows, perhaps built for ventilation, lockable slots, likely to deliver food to the inmates, and a shower room. In one hallway, they find this figure, posed like a statue. We aren't sure what its story is, but it towers over the place like it's floating. At one point, a strange, unexplained noise is recorded as they're talking, and another sound is heard, like blowing on metal. They also hear a door bang at a distance. They say they feel like they're not alone here. Perhaps they aren't. But is their company alive or paranormal? Is this a glitch in the matrix? Published in July of 2010, the so-called extraterrestrial sighting was captured at 4.45 in the morning in Grass Valley, California. The YouTuber writes, LB and I went to investigate what I thought was an animal in the parking lot of the office. I heard a sound that I cannot describe. This is what they saw. The YouTuber explains that when he was pulling in, he saw something strange with the lights on. He assumed it was a maintenance person but went to investigate after hearing the sound. You can see the light he's talking about at a distance. They follow a road to where he thinks he earlier saw the light. He sets the camera down and zooms in. An unusual flickering light flashes across the screen. It then flashes in the other direction, and this time an attached figure is clearly running. The flickering figure pauses for a moment and they ask who it is. Hello? Hey, who is that? He looks like he's glitching out. A moment later, he runs off again and a strange screech is heard.
Is this an extraterrestrial or is this some other supernatural creature of our own world? All of the other rooms of this abandoned church on Long Island look normal, yet the chandeliers on the middle floor are going crazy. Jay Brannon claims to have seen shadow figures all over this video too, so be sure to tell me if you happen to see them. Just the fact that he isn't willing to go inside at all shows exactly how creepy this situation really must have been. The lights continue to go on and off. For some reason, at the 3 minute 35 second mark, they seem to get even more intense, almost like they are feeding off his mortal energy just from standing so near. He returns the next day to prove that this church really was abandoned and no longer in service. After all, no active church would leave their courtyard in such a state of disarray. But that's not all. Jay Brannon did some major research on this church and discovered that it had three separate fires and was struck by lightning twice. He provides the links in the description of the video so you can read them for yourself. Maybe these flickering lights were caused by one of the spirits from the cemetery next door. A YouTuber named You Want Sun catches an eerie moment on live TV when this news anchor has a problem unlike any I've seen. She sounds normal the entire time but she starts blinking excessively, followed by this. Uh, is reporting a record turnout at this point. Nevada and Nebraska are also showing that Democrats are getting a jump on early voting. In Washington, I'm Susan Roberts, Ron and Mary. Pause, Susan pause. <laughs> I've seen videos where both eyes change into a creepy off color before, but I've never seen a video where one eye stays the same and one eye does whatever this is. Also, they cut away from her as soon as it happens, which makes Yuat's son wonder what exactly happened here. I think it's possible, but I'm not sure, so I'd like to get your thoughts. Was this a glitch or something way worse? This old video was allegedly taken in 1988 then found in a remote log cabin decades later before making its way onto YouTube. An unseen cameraman is intently studying an open window when suddenly this happens. The window snaps shut just as a paranormal wail fills the entire forest and the camera goes blank. The quality of this video kind of looks digital to me, so this could be fake, but I'm not so sure. Maybe they were using a filter to make it look older. Let me know if you have the answer and also how you could tell. Take a look at this quick clip of another possible shadow person in someone's basement and tell me if you think it's real. If you think it's computer effects, then please tell me exactly what clued you in. I personally see valid arguments on both sides. While an elderly woman was napping, a spirit decided to disturb her sleep. Captured on a home security camera in Singapore, YouTuber Gilbert Chan shares what happens when a ghost wants you to get no rest. Watch the woman's blanket. But that is just the start. After readjusting, the lady goes back to sleep, but not for long. After the air freshener on the table flies across the room before her very eyes, she decides that sleeping isn't on her agenda today. According to the YouTuber, this whole neighborhood is reputed to be cursed, but why bother this poor old woman? My theory is that this spirit doesn't want anyone to get any rest since he wasn't able to rest in peace. A man is all by himself when he hears a wild animal tearing through his home. Eventually, he corners it in the bathroom and cautiously enters with a camera. This is what he records moments before running away to call the police.
A wide-eyed humanoid slowly straightens out while eyeing him with a calm expression. Like the uploader says, it's hard to tell if this was a human or not, and everything from genetic experiments to the rake has been suggested in the comments. Is this video real? And if so, what do you think it was? This ghostly figure is The Thief of Souls, published by Land on TV in November of 2021. This man encountered an obscure figure lurking on an empty road at night. After wandering through a quiet village in the late hours, the man spies the silent figure in the darkness. He walks in another direction but soon sees the figure again. As he yells at the shadowy figure, it moves away into the darkness. Later, it seems he spies the figure up in the trees, either having climbed it or perhaps even hovering in the air. What does this thing want? I'm guessing his soul. YouTuber Yvonne thinks her apartment is haunted. Posted in January of 2018, Yvonne writes that she heard a clanking noise in her home and turned on the camera to try to capture the noise. She notes in the video description, Our cabinets are brand new. No way for any rodent to get in. Also, they are the kind that don't swing shut on their own. You have to physically close them. The short clip shows a shot of her kitchen, assumedly from where the sound was coming. After a moment, a large clattering is heard as a cupboard opens of its own accord, and something from inside falls to the floor. Oh my god. <sighs> this isn't the first case of odd happenings in the home. According to Yvonne, strange occurrences have been going on for a while. What do you think? Is it time to move? A ghost boy, known as a Pukong in Indonesian, was captured on film in this cemetery. Posted by Antarija, a cameraman is wandering a cemetery at night when he turns to spot this figure. The figure is standing wrapped like a mummy. The distorted face is barely discernible, and the cameraman quickly turns and flees into the darkness. He keeps turning back and somehow the figure is closer and closer. Its horrifying face is what nightmares are made of. It's not clear if the thing is chasing him, but it does seem to be on his tail. Did he make it out alive? Or are one of these graves for him? Let's hope not. This leaked video is over 10 years old and comes from Tacoma County in Washington. A couple are hiking together on Valentine's Day when they hear something in the sky and look up. Oh my god. That is on fire. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Holy oh my God. Some kind of meteorite falls towards Earth, and they rush down the path to investigate. They quickly find the rock sticking out of the ground and make a quick video to document their find. Get me and it. Yes, it is. Go talk, this please. This thing has come out of the sky. Uh, <gasps> Their reactions seem pretty real, but I'm not sure if I believe that a meteorite could land that closely without causing some kind of damage to them. Let me know if you think this video is legitimate. I'm especially interested in learning exactly what happens to people who are close to a meteorite, because from what I understand, I thought they usually go deaf from the impact. If there was a soundtrack to your nightmares, it would probably sound like this. Posted to TikTok by Hannah Hallett, she writes simply, Um, help? You'd be seeking help too if this Yankee Doodle was blaring outside your window in the darkness of night. Hannah captures what looks like an ice cream truck making a U-turn on her road in the darkness. Well, that's a little odd considering the time of day, but not overly scary. The fact that the truck's haunting children's music is blaring from its speakers, even as darkness envelopes the night, is absolutely terrifying. Who is this ice cream man trying to attract? Imagine this nightmare fuel filtering into your subconscious as you fall off to sleep. 
Pretty sure nightmares would be a guarantee. If you hold a ceremony in the house of a known witch, you can expect exactly what's about to happen in this video. Published in February of 2022 by the channel Paranormal Point, evil came out of a mirror when this paranormal investigator prompted it to. He sees a shadow move in the mirror. Is someone in the room with him? Upon his arrival, he found these realistic candles already set up. He believes the witch was performing her ceremonies in front of this mirror. After he lights the candles, the nearby stool starts to take on a life of its own. But the real question is what is living in this mirror? Is it a demon? As the spirit box communicates, when the man stands in front of the mirror, he feels someone behind him. I'd wager it's the shadow figure we saw earlier in the corner. Like most cats, this one can snooze all day. She's right here asleep, right? She's not even moving. But unlike most cats, this one will wake from a deep sleep whenever the door to the basement is touched, even putting its paw out as if to greet whatever's on the other side. This time it's more curious than normal, more driven. The cat seems to pay extra attention to the doorknob in particular. It really wants in. Then the door opens. What I don't understand is I can do this to any door, she won't care. Holy. Despite being closed and latched, the door pops open. Even assuming the cat did slide its paw under the door and somehow opened it. What is down there that has its interest and why only this door? A YouTuber named Guy Terry hears someone crying outside of his door and starts recording for both evidence and his safety. He quickly shuts the door and then appears to be torn between helping the stranger and running away. He decides to open the door once again. A bad mistake. Something about the timing of the video and the aggressive posture of the woman seems absolutely real to me. First uploaded in 2007, this video is one of the earliest ghost sightings to go viral. I'm not sure if this was truly paranormal or if someone broke in, but I do think it's not staged. It's not often you see two trains so close on the same track occurring near Smith Falls in Ontario, Canada in 1992. The footage shows a passenger train that needed to hit the emergency brakes while en route to Toronto. The passenger train appears to be traveling at a fairly fast speed when a stationary freight train comes into view down the track. As the commuter has little time to slow, the engineer stumbles out of the locomotive cab. In the meantime, the freighter backs up slowly while the commuter train has managed to break hard enough to come to a complete stop right in the nick of time. The approach left no more than six feet between the locomotives, a close call that makes little to no sense as to why or how it happened. YouTuber Paranormal Mai believes they've encountered a child genie. Let's see what that even looks like. First, a childlike muttering is heard, almost like laughter. He follows it. The voice continues and the yet unseen child seems to be playing with the lights. Yeah. 
as the child's voice grows nearer. Get ready. <laughs> Burada insanları rahatsız eden sen misin? Although we never see its face, we see its power. Is this really a child genie? What are the extent of its powers? I'm not quite sure, but I wouldn't stand by to find out. This one will make you scream and give you nightmares. Posted by Sermi127 in September of 2007. This YouTube video went so viral that it prompted this YouTuber to create a pantry ghost documentary. Sermi writes, It has been five months since the last sighting of the ghost in my pantry. I filmed the door myself at 12.34 every night for four months, waiting for some paranormal activity. On September 19th, I capture what may be the first real ghost video proof. So let's take a look at this proof. The beginning of the video shows the pantry door opening of its own accord in the darkness. The man filming walks towards the door and shuts it. And as he backs away, a freaky figure presses its face and hands against the glass of the door. As he backs up, the horrifying thing disappears. For some reason, he then approaches the door again, jerking it open, but there's nothing there. The contents within the pantry appear untouched. Did your hair stand on end? Did you scream? Some in the comments of this video did. This video had me afraid of what might be lurking behind the closed doors in my plate. A group of forest rangers set up a camera at the Platte River State Fish Hatchery in Michigan to live stream a nest of baby bald eagles mature. They were never intending to accidentally capture a second, much larger creature instead during the live feed. A giant humanoid figure covered in what appears to be black fur prowls around the forest floor below. It doesn't look like any other native forest animal, as it clearly stands upright and swings its arms while walking. Maybe it's a person in a full body suit, or maybe it's an actual Bigfoot. Then again, since numerous other Bigfoot sightings have been reported in the state over the years, it could very well be legit. Mackie Albertson is a ghost hunter exploring haunted places full of skinwalker sightings to further investigate strange rumors of unknown creatures in the area. Yeah, she's standing on ancient burial grounds when the bizarreness begins. This place is honestly so creepy. Just the feeling here is just eerie. Like, it's not super scary, it's just eerie. A voice in the dark sounds human, and moments before she gets creeped out. So basically, what had happened was She's actually caught a ghost orb on camera. This place is honestly so creepy. That's when she has a creature sighting of her own, or so she says. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's a coyote, there's a coyote, there's a coyote. There's a coyote. Oh, oh, there's a coyote. She very well could have seen a shape shifting skinwalker taking animal form. The camera goes out of focus like something is charging at her. This is the only time it happens. Hello, is someone here? <gasps> Save me. Plus, when she comes back later to the same spot, she gets more evidence in the form of two scary paranormal EVPs. Are there any skinwalkers in this area, area still? Freaky, right? On occasion, don't believe what you see. Sometimes your eyes really can deceive you. TikToker Rebecca explains that a previous video that appeared to show a child at the window in this haunted mansion was actually just a prop. TikTokers urged Rebecca to call the authorities, saying it looked like this individual was being held captive. But when Rebecca zooms in on the window in question, the head is clearly that of a mannequin. Some still find the catch extremely jarring. 
Cat writes, you zoomed in and my heart just stopped. Some thank Rebecca for giving viewers closure, while others say it's even scarier knowing it's a mannequin. Real or not, whoever placed this thing here has a dark sense of humor. A life ceremony in France starts out normal enough until 7 minutes and 11 seconds when an object moves on its own like a ghost is about to throw it. The object levitates until the clergyman puts his hands down, at which point it stops. This happened on live TV in front of thousands, so someone tell me how it could be fake. Stranger still, a man in the audience claims to have seen a supernatural apparition in the dark doorway. A ghostly figure with a white face and hair who watches the ceremony from afar. The full version of this video has never been put online, to my knowledge, but this picture apparently shows the figure. I think there is a good chance that it is Photoshop, but it looks creepy and is worth mentioning. So if anyone out there is good with Photoshop, then let me know if this is a real picture, or if this scary face was edited. Imagine waking up one morning and finding this thing lurking in one of the most intimate areas of your home. That's the reaction of a YouTuber named Stefani Van Tinen and her mother upon finding a huge rat in their toilet. They start talking about how to get rid of the giant rodent and finally come up with a plan. When coaching it to jump into the bag doesn't work, Stefani grabs a glove and a towel, and with the help of her mother, finally gets it inside of the bag. Her mother runs outside of the house and puts the rat in the front lawn. My question is, do you think you would have had the courage to grab a possibly diseased rat straight from a sewer like they did, or would you have called animal control services? To be honest, I probably would have contacted Animal Control Services. This video was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Gobs of Goblins. The Redditor wrote, kept hearing a weird inconsistent tapping noise coming from the ceiling. The attic is directly above my room. Caught one of the times it happened on video. Check the attic and nothing's there. Still kinda freaks me out. I can certainly hear what the Redditor is talking about. Check it out. I know the Redditor checked the attic, but I'm thinking something has to be hiding up there. Not everyone is convinced though. Gohan0912 wrote in the comments that they think it's squirrels or birds. So what do you think? Is there a stranger secretly living in this house? Or is the answer really as simple as Gohan thinks it is? Even dogs have the sense to be aware of this spirit. Published by Scary Desk in January of 2022, a security camera captured two dogs in an alleyway. Acting suspicious, the dogs are seen watching something as of yet unseen. They then start to move away down the alley, looking over their shoulders. That's when the camera captures this shadow figure moving down the alley. The figure is distorted at first, but then becomes more human in form as it moves down the pike. Still, the figure is not solid, but a semi-transparent shadow. Some in the comments think the video has been manipulated, while others say they've seen ghosts like this and believe the footage is authentic. Whatever the case, the dogs definitely see the figure, or sense that it's there. What do you think? I think something mysterious is going on here. A Miami woman was fast asleep on her couch when an unusually creepy looking woman decides to enter her home. Captured on the homeowner's canary home security system, this stranger was filmed the entire time she rummaged through this house. Even more odd is how this woman hovers over the homeowner on the couch, watching her sleep. I originally thought this video was fake because the stranger looks like the possessed girl in your typical scary movie, but the incident is 100% real and most likely wouldn't be believed without this footage. This individual was never caught or identified. This trail camera captures some deer grazing when one of them pauses as if something is nearby. They look directly at the camera, and in that moment a phantom pair of eyes move in the opposite direction. I was thinking that this could be a camera glitch that somehow reflects the deer's eyes back at an angle, but the eyes can be seen briefly again at the 12 second mark, and this time it looks like the deer notices and stares directly at them with more curiosity than fear. 
There are also plenty of other movements where the deer is looking at the camera without the phantom eyes present, so it might not be the equipment after all. Could this be an unknown flying creature like the uploader seems to think? Some cultures believe that the forest itself develops a living spirit to watch over the creatures within, so maybe that is what we are all witnessing here. Peel your eyes back for this one. Published by Kisa Weba in January of 2022, this scary video has been trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The video was shared with Kisa Weba by a subscriber who said he'd found the footage on Reddit. The original poster claimed to have crossed paths with this mud monster on the way home one day. The footage shows a creepy female mud-like creature sitting in the middle of a dirt road. The mysterious creature has long arms with a peculiar appendage where the hand should be. The hand features long, gumby-like fingers that appear to contract as the cameraman walks toward her. The figure's back is also strangely indented. It looks as if parts of the figure are blurred out for discretion, but as the cameraman walks toward her, the other hand reaches over, revealing the same elongated fingers as the first. There also appears to be a trail several feet down the road, dragged by the figure but it ends as if the creature dropped to the earth there from the middle of nowhere. What is this mud monster? And what exactly is she doing here? I guess we'll never know for sure. The Living Meet the Ghosts in This Haunted Place Published by Proving Demons in November of 2021, these paranormal investigators may soon be able to lend their helping hands to cross over to the other side. As they wander through the hall of a hospital, they come across this terrifying note on the wall which reads, 7.21-12.31-2020 Can I? Can I? Help me out. It looks to be signed by Emma. Let's see if the crew can help Emma out. They come into an open area and note that they don't have to worry about the ceiling caving in on them, as it already has. That's when they hear movement behind them. Well, at least I'm not worried about the ceiling caving in on us, because it's already caved in. That's behind me. Although they find nothing moving in the hallway, later as they're chatting in another room, another sound is heard off to the side. If this video ever makes it out, you can try and tell me what the... If you're... They pull their camera toward the noise, but still nothing is there. Feeling scared, they head back and examine the room, which is a dead end. It's a disaster area, but there doesn't appear to be anyone in the room. Maybe Emma is watching them, waiting for their help. While communicating with the spirits using a device, something tells them again to help. 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 Okay, it said help. A confirmation of the earlier request written on the wall. Is Emma trying to communicate? If it is, how can we help her? Is there something in the attic? Redditor Air Icers suspects so. After hearing tapping on the attic wall, they meet it with Sage. <laughs> And this is what they captured. What was that sound? I tend to agree with Titus that this sounds like a metallic spring bang, but that doesn't necessarily negate a paranormal presence. Perhaps the spirit's just jumping up and down on the bed. According to Marisol Cole, this house was built in 1890 and abandoned for decades. She and her friend get a bad feeling as they head up the steps and feel an immense energy weighing them down. As they cross into the kitchen, they find this cold, unsmiling photograph that makes them gasp out loud. <laughs> Whoa. The woman's expression looks pained and worried, as this man is across from her with a slight look of concern as well. 
Maybe it was just the style at the time to look serious during a photograph, or maybe something unspeakable happened here to make them look that way. When Marisol leaves, they are surprised to find the door instantly locked behind them, when there should have been no possible way. And when Marisol glances across the street for one last look, she captures this small, sullen face staring back at her in the window. A face which, even from a distance, passingly resembles the photograph of the man they found earlier. So did they move his picture to the window to fake this part? Or do you think it's possible they really saw him? I'm going with the latter. This video was taken by a Redditor's father while they were walking around an old historic building. He claims to have been all alone in the room, and according to the Redditor, their father is a very serious man who doesn't lie about such things. So even though he is alone, he records someone standing next to him in the reflection of the case. They cross behind him and then suddenly are gone. And when he looked back at the video, he saw the arm and blue shirt of someone standing in front of him. I guess this video would be easy enough to stage. I don't think the Redditor would lie about something like this though. Perhaps if this historic building had CCTV, then we could possibly get another angle of this event to finally solve the mystery. Secret rooms are usually viewed as whimsical, but they can also be terrifying. Tati explains that her brother's room had always had a gross smell in it, so the family brought a guy in to check it out. What he found is straight out of the movie Saw. Two hidden rooms were discovered through the wall of a storage room on the side of their house. Two rooms that they didn't even know existed. The rooms were linked to her brother's closet. Once they removed the shelves in the closet, they found a loose wall, opened it with a hanger, and discovered this mini door behind it. They opened it to find the two rooms. The rooms are quite spacious. Tati claims the floors were covered with dirt and grime and had been soaked in bleach by the guy. What did the previous homeowners have to hide away in these hidden rooms? We'll never know, and maybe we don't want to. TF141Ghost goes exploring an abandoned house, one he found on a secret blog about haunted locations in his hometown. He walks slowly across a rotting floor that can barely support his weight, and apparently the floor isn't the only thing left rotting in this house. As you can see, I mean, it's definitely abandoned. It's been abandoned for, I would say, quite some time now. Give you the grand tour of the kitchen. The tour of the abandoned house. It's kind of creepy in here, I'm gonna be honest. Check out this little door. I was really hoping I'd find something. I have no idea what the f that is, so I'm not gonna touch that. This mysterious object has been delicately wrapped in some kind of deli paper and left hanging. I have no idea what this is, but I'm afraid that it was once attached to someone. I totally forgot there's an upstairs. Oh, these are rickety stairs. It's about 20 degrees. That's kind of weird. Oh, and what's over here? There is a Bible. <laughs> there's a, there's a, Bi <laughs> there's a Bible next to about a hundred toys. The way the book is facing the camera is creepy, like it was left there on purpose, perhaps to guard against some evil in this room. Maybe an exorcism on someone possessed by a demon took place here. With that in mind, what he does next is very questionable indeed. I'm gonna grab this Bible and take it with me, cause I might need it on the way out. Alright, time to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this here, that's really... Hopefully, removing the book didn't free something from that attic space. Besides that, I wouldn't want to touch anything that was possibly used during an exorcism anyway. And on top of that, discarding the book without a care seems like really bad luck to begin with. Oh, and one more thing. More bad news, of course. I think there may have been more clues in this hole at the top of the stairs. But what was hiding in there could not have been good. I think I might even see a face. These British YouTubers are having a look around an old synagogue that hasn't been used in ages. The space is well lit and soon they stumble upon a ladder leading to a much darker attic area. One of them bravely climbs along the wooden rafters and goes much farther out than the rest. Everything is going fine until he makes the mistake of stepping on the much weaker fluffy white insulation. 
and it's just why he just barely catches himself and now hangs suspended from the ceiling too stunned to scream his upper half still in the attic and his bottom half dangling in the air Look down the hole and you can see he's at a dizzying height. If he hadn't quickly grabbed onto the rafters for support, there would be nothing to keep him from free falling to the bottom. There is a powerful figure on this roof and it's united the villagers in rebellion. Posted on TikTok by Toddy Catalina, this scary video shows a large dark figure dominating this rooftop. Anyone who dares near it seems to be blown back, either by her power or from fear. Watch. All those who try to reach the roof fail, and the figure doesn't seem to be bothered by them. They're even throwing things at the figure, but with one great pop, she disappears. Is this dark magic in the round? I'm not sure if this was a witch or some other mysterious creature, but I am sure she's managed to traumatize these villagers for life. I know. Look, that's actually so creepy, dude. There's a guy right there, and I'm kind of freaked out, not gonna lie. Blake Gray fears he's captured, something that would terrify all of us behind the dumpster of an abandoned building while exploring. His brave friend slowly creeps up. So obviously this was a skit that was pre-planned, right? Wrong. Let's analyze what they were wearing on the day they captured this mysterious figure. Ripped jeans, skinny jeans, blue jean shorts. The mysterious stranger is wearing khakis. So yeah, this creepy event is scary and most importantly could be real. The person is still alive but to what degree is unknown. A twitch of the leg could mean asleep or barely alive. If this is real then I hope they notified the proper authorities to come make sure whoever this is is still alive. This spooky midnight sighting is quickly becoming known as the ghost boy under the stairs. It could simply be a bug walking across the camera, but what's weird is how it seems to stay confined to the area under the steps. Then at 15 seconds, it reaches the farthest corner and vanishes. Take a look again and tell me if you think this is real or special effects. Even the person who uploaded this video says they didn't believe in the supernatural until seeing this at their job. A Reddit user named Necromimi posted this CCTV of a ghost captured at her friend's home. A translucent figure walks back and forth from one side of the room to the other multiple times, often fading from sight about midway across and reappearing a few feet away. After a while, it becomes slower and moves in place, eventually fading away into an orb that floats up towards the camera and disappears. The remarkable timing of this event rules out any possibility of a glitch, which makes me suspect that this was either some clever editing or truly paranormal. Experts have yet to debunk a YouTube channel claiming to break the very boundaries of space and time. The channel features no less than eight videos taking place over the course of a year, which focus on a strange glowing device. The device apparently uses different tones and frequencies to experiment with interdimensional travel. Here you can see the first real signs of success from a video in 2017. There's fracture. Some sort of molecular rift opens between his very eyes and looks very convincing. The rift appears to move very realistically with the camera and does not look to be CGI. After a few months of research and careful adjustments, he finally figures out the correct combination of frequencies to open the rift wider than ever before.
Again, nothing about this looks like CGI to me. The way the rift moves with the camera would have been very hard to digitize frame by frame in my opinion, especially when the camera goes out of focus at the 1 minute 50 second mark. Soon the edges of the rift grow thin, and another world emerges. If this video is to be believed, then what you could be staring into is an alternate timeline of our own world. So far, video editing experts have yet to disprove this video, so let me know if you think it's fake or real based on what you've seen here. Willard is hiking Horseshoe Falls in Colorado when he decides he wants to try to climb a cliff. The path is steeper than it looks, and soon he has to put more of his weight on the rocks, which look kind of loose to begin with. Rushing waters are below him, and when he admits defeat and tries to climb back down, everything goes wrong. Whoa. A large rock comes loose and thankfully rolls the opposite way instead of onto his head. He wedges himself between two rocks and says that if he lost his footing, he could have been taken underwater. Meanwhile, his friend looks back with hardly a care. Overall, I'm just glad he didn't break anything, or else it would have been a long and expensive airlift to the nearest hospital. If you were awoken by vibrations, what would you think was happening? Published by YB Normal in January. January of 2012, a hotel guest awoke to something reverberating throughout his room in Beijing and reported hearing spine-chilling sounds. Grabbing hold of his camera, he went to the window where he spotted three unidentified flying objects in the sky. The dark saucers can be seen in a triangular formation in the distance, while in the background you can hear the disturbing noise that must have woken him. It's one deep, long, vibrating note, like the sound of something hovering. The camera zooms in on the saucers before the video turns off unexpectedly. The uploader says the camera stopped functioning for no reason. Are these extraterrestrials simply observing us Earthlings? Or are they trying to scare us with sleep deprivation? A garbage man in New York City leaked this video online to show us the scary side of the industry that we were never meant to see. He needs to pull this dumpster down an alley to the garbage truck. Most of us would walk right up and grab the handle, but the veteran worker does something important first. He kicks the dumpster and waits. That's because out here you can get surrounded by a mob of rats. If you walk up to their territory without giving them a heads up, kicking makes them scatter away. Come on, bro. Come on. Get your stuff together and get out of here. Get all your boys. Get all your boys. Let's go. Yeah. This dumpster must not have much food in it because only a few run away instead of dozens like normal. Now comes the hard part. Now we're going to attempt to move the can. He gives a sharp tug and lets go. When nothing confronts him, he proceeds. He gets halfway down the alley when something creepy decides to make his day twice as difficult. Still. 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 Come on, bro. You gotta go. Can't go back in there. This one is smaller than the rest, but it's stuck around longer than the others and seems twice as territorial. It starts to run away and then it gets another idea. I'm not sure if he fell over or dropped the camera, but the rat, scared and caught up in the moment, jumps straight at him. It looks like an aggressive move rather than just trying to get away. That rat did not want to give up its dumpster. This is why garbage men are paid more than teachers, jokes the top comment of this video. 
I'm not sure if this statement is true, but after seeing this video, do you agree with it or not? And if this is how crazy just one rat acts, imagine how scary it would be to get chased down an alleyway by a whole swarm of them. Talk about a tough and thankless job. This window washer is apparently unconcerned with keeping his life, let alone his job. The brazen worker sees nothing wrong with standing on a ledge that's so narrow. He has to spread his feet outwards just to keep any semblance of traction. And of course, the only way to wash the window in this position is to fully shut it. Notice how there's no safety harness or any other equipment for that matter. If he loses his balance now, the only way to fall is straight down. Meanwhile, he has to rely on a spotter to open the window from the inside to let him back in. And when it's finally time to open the window, he has to wedge his arms in the frame and hold one of the most awkward positions I've ever seen. The cameraman, who is panicking for him, pans down to the ground to show that this video is not a joke. This is a drop he absolutely would not survive. Think you have creepy neighbors? Think again. Posted to the WTF subreddit, Protomancer writes, Just someone slithering through my neighbor's yard in the middle of the night. That description about sums this clip up, but let's take a look at the Nest camera footage. A stranger is seen lying on its stomach on the ground outside this person's home. After a moment, he starts moving in what is well described as a slither. He could actually be crawling with the camera distorting the movements into something even creepier. Not that army crawling across your neighbor's yard is normal at all. While some redditors think the dude is just playing night crawlers, others think the guy is on something. One redditor, however, shares another possible theory from first-hand experience. Chortophonic writes, Quite a few years ago I had something similar happen. Though I was several lawns away, the dude finally stopped on my lawn and we called 911 because he'd been caught with some other dude's wife, and it turns out her husband put a round in this guy. Um, I kind of hope it's one of the first two scenarios here. It's 3am and therefore time for two brothers to test their bravery down in the basement, which they are pretty sure is haunted. They spend about a minute down there and start hearing noises from the back of the room. The brothers quickly agree that this noise sounds like a single human footstep in the darkness, and I would have to concur. That... Yo, do you see Dude. That? Instead of running away, the two brothers decide to directly confront the creature, or spirit, or whatever it is that's down there with them, and the timing of its reply shows that it understands them completely. Is there anyone here with us? Please make a sign. Get out, the two brothers were hoping to last the night, but they hardly make it down there five minutes. Every sound they hear comes closer than the one before, until this final sound comes from directly behind them as they leave. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm scared. Oh my okay. Bye, guys. You can see the younger brother is right next to him, and he doesn't do anything to cause the sound. So unless there's a third person with them, I think this video is absolutely real. This next video is most likely CGI, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time dissecting it. It was supposedly taken somewhere in the open waters in 2013. Crew members are recording a whale when all of the sudden, they capture something that, if not fake, is absolutely insane. The whole situation looks way too dramatic for me to believe it was just a natural event. I think a real shark attack would have been more visceral and also most likely would have taken place underwater. This video was recorded more than five years ago. It shows the pointer moving around the Ouija board on its own at first, but then it somehow levitates and begins flying away. There's a good chance that this is CGI. At least, that's the only explanation that I can think of besides actual spirits. Security cameras often catch those creatures that we'd rather know nothing about. This is one of them. This video took place in Southern California. The uploader writes, This thing fell through the wood under the eave of my house and struggled for three hours until it fell. The vid starts where it happened in the daytime and then goes to the event. 
the uploader ad. So whatever the creature is came out at the top right near the vent and it happened between midnight and 3.30 in the morning. The footage shows what appeared to be a tentacle-like object which appears and then disappears several times. The pointy end of it starts wiggling and it stretches out as if it's trying to reach the vent while the other end still attached to the wall. It does finally manage to acrobat over and get its head up in there. Then before you know it, it's squirming up into the vent, its tail waggling all over the place. It's then seen wrapping around a nearby pole before it climbs down the wall. Last seen on the ground at 3.30 in the morning. Looks like an acrobatic snake to me. Whatever the creature is, it's sure to keep you up at night. Humanoids apparently come in all different sizes. The one in this video is mistakenly labeled as a goblin, though it looks completely human except for its height. The supposed goblin in this video is shorter than one brick tall. It peeks around from behind a wall and quickly disappears once it sees the camera. The camera follows it to the other side of the wall and finds a tiny hole that the humanoid must have escaped into. If it wasn't for the video, the supposed goblin would not have left a trace behind. If you have a heart, this entry will break it. It was this woman's dream to arrive at her wedding by helicopter. She decided to surprise her husband at the altar by doing just that. Alongside her brother in July of 2017, she climbed aboard the copter. The flight took off in Brazil, just one mile from the reception venue. The excited bride-to-be and her brother are both smiling at the beginning of the video as they take off. But soon they're swallowed up by fog. An alarm starts going off and the camera begins to shake. You can hear the passengers screaming as the pilot loses control of the copter. All four pass away in the incident. When the copter didn't arrive at the venue after 15 minutes, despite the organizers being informed of its liftoff, the pastor was forced to tell the groom the devastating news, as neither he nor any of the other 300 guests had known about the planned entrance. The incident came as an absolute horror to the entire wedding party. It's painful to imagine and harder to watch. A man in an undisclosed city hears this noise and begins recording. He sounds like he has anxiety from hearing this noise. And then later in the video, you learn something very strange. Yet again, I can hear that uh, echoing sound, uh, that eerie sound again today. So obviously, that has been going on for some time. However, nobody else around him seems to be upset or alarmed from the noise. Maybe this is some kind of ordinary city sound and the uploader is pretending to be afraid as a prank. For those of you who have lived in a large city, what is this noise and why would you hear it on and off for months on end? Kids are having a sleepover with evil, shared by YouTube channel Wowza. The video's description says it's originally from TikTok, but the link they provide leads nowhere. The kids are first playing in the living room when the power shuts off. Later, after the power returns and they've fallen asleep, this happens. Where was he taken? My theory is that wherever he went, he didn't return the same boy. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.